Hey folks, John Ferguson Smart here. I often see people talk about test automation and they talk about test automation in different ways. Some people treat it almost as if it's a totally different profession to manual testing. You've got automated testers and manual testers and they're totally different. Other people see it as automation as a way to help manual testers do their job better, how, uh, a way to help manual testers automate their manual tests. I think both of those approaches are actually limited, actually flawed. The way I see it is very different. You see, what I see as automation is not the automation of manual test cases. Automating manual test cases is a really bad idea. It's very, very inefficient. It's an old school approach. We've been trying it for 20, 30 years. It, it doesn't work well. It's not well suited to Agile. What you want to be automating is not manual test cases. And you don't want to have to do a whole lot of manual testing before you get around to automating them. It's way too late. What you want to do is try to do the best you can to automate requirements. And what I mean by that is you express the requirements of an accept of a user story, of a feature, in a way that it can be automated. And then you work with the team to automate bits and pieces of those requirements in different ways. Now, that could be through unit testing, it could be through UI testing, it could be via the API, it could be a mixture of all those, but what you are doing is you are demonstrating that an application works at multiple levels through automation. You're demonstrating that the requirements are satisfied at multiple levels through automation. And to do this demonstration, you need to express this automation in a way that people understand. If you express it as a manual test script that you automate, then the only people who can read that with great pain are other manual testers or other testers. If you express your the automation in a way that speaks to the business, that speaks to developers, that helps people understand what the application is supposed to do, then you've got something that brings the whole team together and accelerates the whole delivery process. And that's what you want to try and do with automation. Not automating manual test cases, not speeding up manual testing activities, but speeding up delivery, speeding up the development process as a whole. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. Thanks for listening, folks.